Let's hear sure from Guardy. Not only about that, but the Yankees zeroing in on a playoff spot. Magic number now sits at one. Does it feel like you're at that point in time of the season? Um, <laughs> I mean, obviously, um, you know, we're aware the season's coming to a close. It does seem like it just started. But, um, yeah, we've been playing good baseball recently. We know that, um, you know, it's obviously a very important time of the year, these last eight or nine days. And hopefully, um, you know, just continue to finish strong and, um, you know, control what we control, um, play the game hard, and um, hopefully continue to win. Next one to Pete Caldera. Hey, Brett. You know, the way you guys have been playing now, um, you think a lot of this could be chased, uh, you know, traced back to the, the night in uh, Buffalo when, you know, Hap loses a close game, but, but things kind of turned a corner at that point? Well, yeah, I think that last day in Buffalo, um, we won and kind of broke that losing streak that we had. That was a tough road trip going to Baltimore and Buffalo, just obviously – not playing good baseball, not bringing any energy to the park, and just, um, you know, tough couple weeks for us. But obviously, we've we've turned the corner, seem to have, you know, pretty much everybody on our roster healthy and, um, you know, team coming back together at the right time and really, um, you know, really, really been able to give some pitchers some run support this last week or week and a half. And, um, you know, obviously, when you're playing well, it's a lot of fun to be a part of. Thank you. Next one to James Wagner. Hey, Brett, uh, I, your magic number for the team is down to one. Uh, if the Mariners lose tonight, you guys would get in. Are you, you going to, like, stay up and watch? And, like, how would you even celebrate given all the, you know, regulations you guys even yeah, have? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a tough question. Um, I don't know. We obviously have a day game tomorrow. I'm sure the Mariners are somewhere on the West Coast. I don't know if they're at home or on the road. But um, I don't know if I'll be up that late. I'll try and get to bed probably before that ends. But but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that game goes. And obviously, um, you know, maybe tomorrow um, – you know, figure out what we want to do with that. But definitely something to celebrate. Obviously, it's, as I've said before, it's been a tough few months for a whole lot of reasons for a lot of guys in that room. And, um, you know, just coming together as a team and, and, like I said, playing good baseball this last week, week and a half, um, you know, making the playoffs and getting to move on into the postseason is obviously something to be proud of and, and, and something to celebrate. Thanks, Brett. Brian, I hope you have the next question. Hey, Brett. Um, you know, I got to ask you about this. Uh, Clint posted about you stole his turtleneck. Uh, how did that all go down? Well, let's set the record straight. Clint had one turtleneck and he wanted another. Um, and there was only one left in the storage at the stadium. So they wouldn't give him both of the last turtlenecks. So he wanted me to ask for the last turtleneck and then give it to him so he could have two, one for batting practice and one for the game. This is four or five days ago, and, and being a good teammate that I am, I, I asked for that last turtleneck. It was given to me, and then I gave it to Clint. Well, I didn't play last night, and I was freezing sitting around, and then um, it was very cold again today, and, and that turtleneck will obviously keep you warm. And um, when I got to the field today, um, I went to his locker to grab one of his two turtlenecks because I figured that he had the other one on already, and he was going to wear that for the game. We didn't have batting practice today. That's why he wants two. So he can wear one for BP and then take it off, shower, and then wear another one for the game. So, you know, we're, uh, we're on a road trip to Boston and Buffalo. Uh, Lowe's in the 40s, windy. And he only brought one turtleneck with him on the road. He left the other one at the stadium. So uh, I didn't know that when I took the first turtleneck out of his locker today. But since he uh, only brought one, I felt like the one that I wore today was mine, and he left his at the stadium. So he had a really good day at the plate. I felt good at the plate. Um, the team obviously had a good game. So tomorrow I'll probably be wearing the turtleneck again. We'll see. All right.